Yeah, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hello, everybody, and welcome back. It's another beautiful day. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. My name is Joel, and this is a stable life. It definitely is starting to look like spring is in the air, guys. Hopefully, today's it. Today's the final day, and I mean that because today genuinely is pretty much my last opportunity at this. We're gonna get started. There's the fertilizer spreader. Let's check and see if it's full fertilizer. It should be. It's my understanding that it's pretty much ready for me to go. We're gonna hop right in and, and get started for the day. Uh, today's gonna be just me. It is Wednesday. Leia and my mom are here working together, <laughs> feeding horses. <clears throat> okay, yeah, there's definitely enough fertilizer in there for me. <clears throat> what is that? It's all right, well, I guess that's as much as that's closing. And is our... It is. Great. So this is pretty much ready for us to go. Well, welcome aboard the 110. My seat, in case you were wondering what on earth that noise was. Is the engine warmed up? Yep. I figured it would be. He was using it this morning. We just got to finish spreading the fertilizer. They're calling for rain today, and it can happen literally at any point in time, so we don't know when it's going to rain. Now, the fertilizer that I'm spreading, the way it works is once it's on the ground, as the rain falls, the fertilizer absorbs into the ground, and then it's there for the plants to eat. <laughs> third gear is always a tricky one. And then it's able to be absorbed by the plants and used for food. Now, I'm going to do a nice comparison here this year where we can kind of take an actual realistic look at how the hay differs this year compared to last year. So I'm excited for that. Make sure you subscribe to see that video. I only have a few passes to make. I have two fields that I wasn't really able to do. We're going to check them out today. One I'm definitely doing, one I'm not sure because there's water laying in it. And if there's water laying in it, then you don't want to spread fertilizer on it. Because that's just not going to go into the ground. It's just going to run off. And we don't want that at all. To the hay farm we go. Okay, so this is right in between everything. We've got this, there's a field right over there that's in the woods. We've got a few stretches back there. All of this side is done already. We just have this little weird field in here. Uh, the odds just went right on for me, what do you think? Think I'd have that good of a day? Won't know till we look. And actually looks like it did. Sweet. That was so easy, I feel like I'm forgetting something. We're good to go. Let's start spreading some fertilizer, shall we? Hopefully this won't turn sour here. guys awesome hay farm is officially fertilized yeah, the sun's even out that's kind of awesome Let's see how much did we use <sighs> nice good amount still in there good stuff that's it for us for hay let's get the tractor on back and let's knock that pile out once and for all do or die time I'm hoping to really just get stuff done today. Let's see here. Time is 9.42 a.m. And we are getting this pile done today. There's no ands, ifs, or buts. Rain or shine, it's happening. It's going to take a lot for me to have to stop for doing this. It sounds so different. The engine sounds so different. That 110 was made with Ford. So it's a Ford New Holland. This tractor is just New Holland, so it's got a completely different sound to it, even though it's got 10 more horsepower. That one being a 110, this one being a 120.
Holy hell! Woo. This one's a lot faster than the 110 too. And for anybody that is wondering why they're not using the 120 to spread fertilizer, they 100% can. The problem with fertilizer though is that it eats metal actually like pretty badly. So you have to completely deep clean the equipment you use to spread fertilizer. Any little piece that you miss uh, will rust out the tractor. They haven't said this to me, but I do believe that is why they are not using the 120 for spreading fertilizer. They tend to use older tractors on spreading fertilizer just because they don't want that wear and tear on the newer equipment. In fact, they didn't use the 110 to spread fertilizer up until a few years ago. Anybody think it's funny that we have five tractors going 50 to 100 to 110 to 120 to 130? Specifically the Veggie Boys, they're just 100, 110, 120, 130. Bottom line is this is a nice track. This is a nice track. Alrighty guys, this is my fifth day spreading manure, which means that this is the fifth video that you guys are gonna be seeing with me spreading manure. Thank you for staying with me for the ride. I film most of what I do on the stable and I'm trying to even film more for you guys because you guys always like to see all the little nooks and crannies of everything. And this is a big part of having so many horses on your property and what keeps things so stable around here. <sighs> anyway, you can see there's bugs all over the place. They're doing their thing, but we're gonna help them out. We're gonna spread this out in a nice thin layer on the field, help them out even more, breaking that down and turning it into beautiful, beautiful soil. We've just got the main pile to work on and from yesterday, this thing is solid. So it's gonna be a workout on my tractor, but she's up to the task. I know she can do it. Perfect. in a different place here. We're gonna try a, a fancy mount. I don't get hurt here. Ugh. Don't worry, this is safe, okay? I think that's a pretty cool spot. I'll come back up and get you in a little bit. What's oh, going on?
guess that spot wasn't too good, huh? Oh yeah. You know what? Today we're doing a load counter. This is load number two. Every time you guys see the manure spreader, I'm gonna tell you the load. Boom, boom, boom. Oh no, guys. It's getting cloudy off in the distance. That's no bueno. We don't want that. Definitely not. We don't need that right now. Hopefully, if it does rain, it's just a drizzle and not like an absolute downpour. Uh, oh boy. We're fine. We're fine. There's going to be no problems. Five loads in and this is what our pile is starting to look like. We got a whole nother bucket section cleaned up and we're starting to carve out the bottom of the pile. I'm expecting a cave in here shortly. Hopefully we'll catch it on camera. ever move. That is thick. And it's taking longer because it takes me longer to get a bucket load and I'm not getting full bucket loads every time. I think I'm in far enough on the bottom that I might be able to start taking out of the top. Let's try. Oh wow. Haha. <laughs> yeah. Nice and easy. Okay. Okay. A little heavy. There we go. This stuff is thick. I mean, just look at that. That's insane. Whew. Six loads in and we have another field finished. This field is all the way at the bottom. Nicely carpeted. Really nice. Spreader does a great job. This has been bothering me. I'm just gonna, you know, there we go. That's good. This thing's been just processing load after load after load. And I never realized that I talked about how this thing works. It looks pretty straightforward, but just in case you're curious, these bars down here slowly move the material backwards to these two giant spinning wheels of death. They're actually called beaters. And they spin in opposite ways. So this spins this way, and this spins this way. And they basically grab the manure and then spit it and chew it up and throw it out in a spreading pattern across the back. What's nice is the newer spreaders, all of these blades are re replaceable. So I had two bolts, take the old one off, put a new one on, two bolts back on. The old ones, they didn't used to make them like that. There was just a full unit that was welded to the bar. So if you broke one, you just kept using it until um, enough were broken that you had to buy a whole new beater bar. And then you'd have to put a whole new bar in. Or you'll weld a new one on and then hope that your weld was good and in the right angle that it doesn't blow the bearings out or fly off and then hit you on the back of the tractor or anything. I've seen everything done this way, but this is nice because that completely negates all of that in the process, which is awesome. So the next field we're heading to is way up there and that'll be load seven. As we're heading out with load seven, check it out guys. You see that there is some dirt being turned right now. Daniel is out plowing. This uh, field right here was where all the cabbage and the broccoli and all that stuff was. I don't know what's getting put in there. They don't do much plowing anymore. All of our grain crops are planted via no-till now. 
Um, so the only plowing that they do is for vegetables. So the vegetables that they sell in the farm market and all of their um, coal crops they plow the ground for because they need a really good seed bed for those vegetables and um, this way they don't have to spray anything because that way you keep the weeds down. Um, that's the reasoning behind why they plow that, but they don't plow much anymore, which is which is cool. You know, it's good for the soil. We are now in our seventh field. Now this was last season used for silage. So if you remember, remember the field on the left? right in front of us here and the field on the right was one giant silage crop. Eventually, once that silage crop was harvested, the field on the left were then tilled and wheat was planted in those. And our center field here, I don't know what's getting put in here, but they came over and checked on how things were going and realized that I needed a couple more acres to spread some manure on. So they said this field right here is good for us to spread on, which is awesome. So this is our third field. We're starting now. And just to give you an idea on how much time has passed, uh, it is now 1.30 in the afternoon. Kind of crazy. But yeah, I'm fully confident that what's left in the pile should go on this field. I don't think I need any more acres. Oh, look who's over here to visit. Looks like we got Jack, Bella. <laughs> yeah, Jack, Bella, Sarah, Danny, and Declan. All grazing. And up there is Rebel and Archer. Here's what's left of the pile. We're getting there. I'm thinking at most we got five more loads and we are getting everything done today still, regardless of how long it takes. We've got a lot of rain coming tomorrow. Not to mention I'm running out of time to get this pile taken care of. And this thing is huge. To put it into perspective for you guys, the pile started right here. See right behind this detractor's the tire there, that line, that was where the pile started and went all the way over to there. And its furthest point out was about right here. That is absolutely insane. This is load 15 for today. I'm thinking this has got to be at least load 30 for this pile. And I think it was like 10 loads in the uh, middle field. So that means that it's, we're, we're at about 40 loads for the, for the manure so far for the year. Rough estimate. Insanity. We're going to keep on trucking. No, you're not hiding. You're not hiding. Get in here. So we're on our way back out to the field with load 16. But look who's joined us. Hi, that's, everyone. That's right. We got Petey back with us. Petey's here with us on a Wednesday. Pete, how was your day? Eh, it was a long day, but it was good. It was good? Nice. Sounds to me like Petey is going to be with us probably till we're done. Hopefully get us some shots outside the tractor and spreader with the camera later on. In case you guys are curious, it is 6.20 p.m. So, yeah, 
Yeah, time's getting late. You see that we're not at sunset. We've got probably about an hour till sunset, give or take. Nice pink. Hopefully we'll get a good sunset tonight. Might be using the tractor's lights. We'll see. I believe after this load, there's only four loads left. PD believes after this load, there is what, five? Five. Five left. So we'll see what we got. So guys, Pete's gonna show you, but we actually can see the horses over in the meadow. It's pretty cool, so he's gonna take you over and show you. Look at this guys, this is awesome. Now GoPros are really bad at far sight. <laughs> We're gonna zoom in here a little bit. I'm gonna be really stationary. So you can actually see all of them over there on that mountain in the meadow, eating grass. That's awesome. That's what we like to see. All of that area over there was briars, but through the years, constantly mowing it and taking care of it, it's turned into some really nice pasture and grassland, which is great. The horses will start there and then move their way across the hill and then start to come up over here and they'll reach the horse stable usually by about six o'clock in the morning, sometimes five o'clock in the morning, and then they'll wait until nine where they get let in. So Pete, is your estimate holding still after this load, three more loads? What do you think? Because my, my estimate is that after this load, there's two more loads. I think there's three though. You think there's three? Yeah. All right, we'll see, we'll see. This is the last load for the day and the last load for all of manure from 2022. Wait, from 2023. That's right, we're in 2024 now. Okay. fell out the spreader as it was running. So we want that to be all 
mulched up and ready for planting. So I'm gonna drive the 120 and Pete's gonna load me up. You wanna meet me at the top of the hill? I'll go through and you can get the gate. Well, here we are. Here we are, look at it. Man, that's awesome. I'm happy. <laughs> it's been a long day. Oh, look, it's dark in here with no light. Man, that's a downside to filming at night. <laughs> Well, let's get some better lighting, but we're home. Well guys, I hope that you enjoyed the video and I hope that you enjoyed the video series of us working on cleaning up that manure pile. I'll have to get the total for you guys, but I'm thinking it's around 45 loads for the year so far, which is crazy. That's a lot of manure. Whew, I'm tired, but we're ready for the next job. So thank you so much for watching. If you haven't, make sure you hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. And as always, we'll see you in the next one.